In this video, I'm gonna share with you exactly how you're gonna be able to create your own AI agent from scratch within the next 10 minutes from now. So buckle up and let's get it done. There are a number of different tasks that you can do with this program, but first of all, you wanna to go to proxy.convergence.ai. This will give you access to this program for free. From my understanding, as of me shooting this today, this could obviously change because with tech, they offer you free stuff and then all of a sudden they start charging. So get it while you can. But right now they give you five sessions every day that you can use it, two parallel sessions. I have no idea what that means, but one automation. I don't know what that means. And that means you can set it. And once you set it once, you can forget it and it'll do that task over and over again until you have it stop. So with that being said, you can do one of two things when you log in. You can either go to the marketplace right here and it'll actually take you to some sample templates that other users have done and you get to see how many users have actually used it and you can play around with it that way just to get a feel for how you can utilize it in your business you have review my shopify store twitter x engagement salesforce daily updates a lot of different things a lot of different memory joggers what's trending on x but i'm going to utilize it for my specific business and how you do that is you simply just go to convergence at the top and it'll take you home. And then you can put in your prompt task right here. So I generate leads on Facebook. Now from those leads, I have it go onto a Google Sheets. I get email addresses. I want every email address that goes onto my Google Sheet to be emailed directly by me or AKA my proxy, right? It's actually a great name when you think about it, right? Acting on behalf of somebody. This AI agent is acting on behalf of us. So here is the prompt and I'm going to put it in and we're gonna watch it do its thing. The first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab it, which is on my Notion template, which you probably can't see right here. So basically the task, and I'm not gonna read the whole thing, but you can, if you wanna see it, you can definitely go to the bottom of the description and I have the whole prompt and you can just utilize it. Okay, and here's the prompt I wanna give it. Send a personalized welcome email from my account with my email address and then to each prospect listed in Google Sheet titled test spreadsheet and update the tab test spreadsheet. So basically it's going, I'm identifying what tab I want it to reach out to my prospects on and then it's gonna do its thing. So here's the entire prompt and then I have a message inside here as well. And this is for investors who are interested in borrowing money on the commercial side. So it's gonna be geared towards that and the overall objective is to send them a link to book them in my calendar, all right? So that being said, I have the prompt in here and now all I have to do is press send message and I'm gonna start letting proxy do its thing. So now the operator is working. So if I would, if I'm thinking, right, what it would be doing next, it most likely will be trying to access my spreadsheet. So it's going to need my password. And let's see what happens if it asks for it. Confirm which tab. Link to my Google Sheets. So it has it. All right, all right, perfect. So it is asking what my username is, which is perfect. We want that because it's obviously has to log in. So let me do that. And then I would imagine it wants my password. Let's see how long it takes. So it's 1050. Oh, that was good, okay. Now it's asking for my password, proxy's doing his thing. All right, password. Hopefully I know my password. Yes. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right. So let me open up YouTube to confirm. So far, so good. Right here. It's asking me to verify. And that's exactly what I'm doing. 81 is the number. Let's see. Let it know it's, I'm done. Continue, proceed to the sheet. All right, next step. This is so freaking cool. <laughs> yes, yeah, baby. 
Yes, it got it. So it actually got onto my sheet. Perfect. Now, this is obviously a test that I put here just to actually, you know, give it some information to input. Clearly, if this was real leads, it would go down as far as as many rows as you want. Let's see. Okay. Skipping data sheet. Oh, I skipped the password key. All right, cool. I will start by entering the subject line for the email Miss Mike Smith, which is the person that I need him to send an email to. Click on the compose to start drafting the email to Mike Smith. I will now proceed to Google to draft and send a personalized email to Mike Smith. Okay, dope. So this, the personalized welcome to Mike Smith has been successfully sent from your Gmail account. If you have any further tasks or need any additional assistance, feel free to let me know. Boom. So now that automated message has happened. Now, of course, this is just with one email. However, if you have 100 emails or 1,000 emails that you want to go out, it will now send a personalized message. And then the very cool part, which is what I was talking about earlier, for free because I had not paid for this account, you can automate this task. And now every single time, you can then have it do that thing. So keep in mind, definitely from a European company, so they operate on military time. So if you set it for 2 o'clock, that would be 2 a.m. If you want to set it for 2 p.m., you got to do 1,400 hours. And that's pretty much it. That's a super easy use case of how you can use this. I mean, literally, my mind is swirling right now about the possibilities of what I'm going to do for automation because now I can have it do more complex things like maybe write me scripts, write me codes, write me automations for make. I don't know. The possibilities are literally endless. That's it for this video. I hope you got value. I hope you can see the possibility of what you'll be able to do when you leverage AI and automation and how simple that was. If you want the prompt that I use just to give you a, your head a, you know, a, a kickstart, simply just go to the bottom of this page and uh, in the description in YouTube and you'll have access to this. And of course, smash that like button and definitely subscribe for more AI videos just like this.